U.S. silos? Yes. Uh, very simply, you know, FTX U.S. was for U.S. citizens who wanted to trade crypto. Uh, FTX.com was for citizens were not allowed to trade on, on that exchange. Uh, that's very simple. And I would make one other comment, which is separate and apart from uh, uh, any of those two silos, uh, it was Ledger X, which is a regulated entity, regulated by the CFTC, solvent and separate from the FTX US silo. Okay. And that, that is a distinct silo. That's a distinct um, company. That is a distinct company within the U.S. silo, yes. Okay. So then Alameda Research and the venture capital businesses, what did Alameda Research do? Uh, essentially made crypto investments, uh, engaged in you know, margin trading, you know, took long and short positions in crypto, essentially invested in crypto. But of course, we now know also invested in over $5 billion of uh, other assets, which are in a variety of, of sectors. And what was the practice between Alameda Research and FTX.com? You have, have you established any anything you can disclose to us today? In, in essence, you know, Alameda uh, was a user, uh, effectively a customer of FTX.com. Uh, that's how it was essentially structured. Uh, was that a distinct set of capital between those two uh, companies? Well, we now know. Um, and with the information you have right now, uh, when, when approximately did FTX begin to experience financial trouble? Uh, well, it was first disclosed uh, to the public you know, beginning around November 2nd. Uh, but you know, when this began, uh, it was months, if not you know, earlier years, our investigation is, is continuing, this is, but this is not something that Uh, so you, you said the distinction between FTX US, FTX.com, Alameda Research. What was, a re what was the relationship between FTX.com and FTX US? Was, was there a distinction between the two? Uh, there was a public distinction between the two. Uh, what we're seeing, though, is that the crypto assets for both FTX.com and for FTX US you know, we're housed in the same database. It's called the AWS system, which is just an acronym for Amazon Web Services. It was all housed in the same uh, web format. And is that distinct from Alameda's um, assets? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, so in, in your testimony, you said that there is, quote, an absence of independent governance throughout the FTX group, end quote. Uh, yet Mr. Bankman Fried has said that, quote, he wasn't running Alameda or making decisions on the Alameda side, uh, end quote. Is this an accurate statement uh, by Mr. I, I assume you're going to say your statement's accurate. Is Mr. Bankman Freed's statement accurate? Uh, I, I don't know the basis for his comment. I, I will note that he owned 90% of Alameda. So, but you've seen, you've seen no distinction in governance between the two? Oh, a absolutely not. There's no distinction whatsoever. Uh, the owners of the company could really run free reign across all four silos. Thank you for testimony.